Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today, AMD is upgrading first gen Ryzen, RX 5600 XT gaming benchmarks, and Ryzen 4000 APUs are fantastic. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, I've got a weird news story cropping up regarding this CPU. For those watching the video, you're probably wondering why we're looking at a first gen Ryzen 5 1600. Well, that's because it isn't just any old 1600 CPU. When you look at the model number, you can see it ends in AF. Now, that matters because AMD's typical 1600 processor ends in AE. Of course, there can be a hundred reasons we see a new product number under an old CPU, but this reason is anything but typical. When the AF CPU is benchmarked in CPU-Z or HW-Info, it clearly states that it's a 12 nanometer part. For those who don't know, AMD's first gen Ryzen was 14 nanometers. It wasn't until their revised Zen Plus architecture that 12 nanometers became a part of Ryzen. Okay, so maybe it's just a mistake in the product identifier. But then a Redditor who was able to get one of these new CPUs actually ran some tests and found something interesting. According to the Redditor, the new 1600 was able to stay at a 3.7 GHz boost clock, which is 100 MHz higher than a normal stock 1600. Now, while retesting the older 1600, it also got there, but it only lasted for a second or so. With that said, if these are 12 nanometer CPUs, they aren't AMD's best, since when overclocked, the AF version of the 1600 couldn't get core clocks or memory clocks as high as the older model, though the AF model did still win in benchmarks. To be honest though, a 6 core 12 thread CPU for $85 is a great deal regardless. Plus you can get the 1600 even cheaper and with $20 off an eligible motherboard with my sponsor Micro Center. With that said, I can't confirm that Micro Centers are the AF model as of yet, but I'll pin a comment below if I can confirm it with my contact. Either way, I'll have some links in the description for anyone interested. Next up for today, we have a few benchmarks on AMD's upcoming Radeon RX 5600 XT, as well as some confirmed specs. Starting things off, in a report by Video Cards, they've confirmed with multiple sources that the 5600 XT will in fact come with 6GB of GDDR6. Now, once again, that does seem odd, considering the 5500 XT can get up to 8GB. My first thought was that it would use AMD's second gen RDNA architecture, so maybe it wouldn't need as much memory. But in a tweet by video cards, it doesn't include hardware ray tracing, so that's probably not the case. It's actually in a recent post by Igor's lab that gives us the more likely answer. According to him, for AMD to get these parts out really quickly since, you know, Vega is basically yesterday's news, to do that, AMD effectively cut their Navi 10 GPU, which is what the RX 5700 and 5700 XT is made from, by one third. That explains the 6GB of memory, yet a much faster GPU when compared to the RX 5500 XT. Okay, so with memory in mind, and this being the only 6GB card from AMD in years, we can head over to a Reddit post once again by RO Game. This time, he's found a few 3D Mark benchmarks, and in them, the card used had 6GB of RAM, meaning this is pretty much definitely the 5600 XT. As far as clocks, it mostly stayed around 1600 MHz. Of course, most everyone just cares about performance, and things definitely get interesting here. The RX 5600 XT effectively crushes NVIDIA's GTX 1660 Super in a couple benchmarks and gets right around the same in others. Of course, when we're talking actual gaming performance, that can change. With that said, given this is a cut down Navi 10 GPU, it should have a ton of headroom for overclocks, especially given it's mostly seen here around 1600 MHz. Obviously, we'll have to wait to be sure, but given the price is good, AMD's upcoming GPU could be a serious competitor. Lastly for today, while sticking to AMD, I've got more information on the company's upcoming Ryzen 4000 series APUs. Starting things off, the Ryzen 7 4800H and HS variant, as well as the Ryzen 5 4600H and HS variant, have been spotted in some upcoming ASUS laptops on the retailer Lambda Tech. Unfortunately, they don't give us much information other than the price, and as many of you know, I don't care to talk about pricing because a lot of the pre-order prices are ridiculously high, then this isn't in the US, and there will be differences other than the exchange rate. Luckily, we do have a report from WCCF Tech that will say that it originates from Mobile 01 Forum. Basically, this part is definitely more of a rumor, but given we've now seen the Ryzen 7 4800H, these likely do at least exist. Either way, the forum user Playfay stated that the upcoming parts are the Ryzen 7 4800H and 4900H. 
Also, either one or both, since it's not really clear here, have 8 cores and 16 threads and are nearly an Intel's 8 core 16 thread i9-9880H. Personally, I will say that's a bit disappointing considering we're talking Intel's 14 nanometer CPU versus AMD's 7 nanometer part, but that is still a huge step for AMD and the added competition in the laptop space should give users more choices and hopefully help spur innovation in the industry. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for next gen Ryzen APUs or what about that really cheap 6 core 12 thread CPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.